trashing styrofoam cups and containers for good. That's what one Cleveland woman hopes will happen here in town, and already thousands of people have joined that cause. The now's Jennifer Aw spoke with the woman today. And Jennifer, this, uh, she's now set to meet with the city. Yes, Rob. Hillary Lyons showed me this email from the Office of Sustainability in Cleveland, and she says she's more than ready to convince the city to take action, adding she knows firsthand the benefits of banning styrofoam. Hillary Lyons says she's a Clevelander at heart and grew up in Northeast Ohio. However, for six years, she lived in San Francisco and she's learned a thing or two. People are composting more. They're being much more um, sustainable and thinking about being greener. Then she developed greener habits. Everyone in San Francisco carries bags. They've banned plastic bags as well. After moving back to Cleveland, Hillary was inspired to bring that greener lifestyle to the land. So she started a petition on change.org. More than 2,000 people have signed it in just three months. Social media and friends and just kind of pushing things out. Her message, styrofoam harms the earth. A styrofoam breaks down, it can get into animals, sea life, birds, everything can ingest it when it breaks into pieces, but technically it never actually breaks down fully. Even having that cup of morning joe can be harmful to your health, according to Hillary. She says the styrofoam in the cups can actually melt and get into your system. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has added styrene, a component in styrofoam, to its list of known human carcinogens. However, the FDA says more research needs to be done to ban the substance in the U.S. altogether. So let's say Cleveland does ban styrofoam. What would we use? They'll use compostable paper, um, things that are a little bit more expensive. Seattle, Washington, D.C., and New York City are among the cities that have already banned styrofoam. Now, Hillary Lyons says she is scheduled to meet with the Office of Sustainability next week. We'll be following up with her and let you know what comes out of it. In the Tech Center, I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for The Now Cleveland.